Hi guys, my name is Laura and today I decided to film my current beauty favourites. My goodness, it's been a long time since I filmed a monthly favourites. I used to film them every single month. I think for like two straight years I filmed them every single month. But I haven't filmed one in a very long time so I thought that I would show you guys my current favourites that I've been using pretty much every day, if not every day, at least every week. Um, I'd like to apologize in advance if you can hear a lot of background noise. I do have to have my window open and the window that faces, or well, the window that's attached to this room gets all the traffic from the road, which is always great. Anyway, so let's just jump straight into the favorites. We're going to start off with just the actual face. So my number one face item, at least for my skin, has been the Cancer Council face day wear sunscreen with SPF 30. I tried the SPF 50 one, but, and it was like the mattifying one. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I used to love it. But then I tried this one and I like it so much better. I like how my makeup sits on top of it and it absorbs into the skin nicer. So I've been using this one recently and it's really, really, really good. Um, I do recommend you using a SPF for the daily, um, just to protect your skin, prevent premature aging, stuff like that. This is the sunscreen that I've been loving. When this does finish, I probably will go venture out and try a different one though. For primer, I've been loving two. One is a more pore filling primer. This one is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Cream. I do have a review of this on my channel. I use the light to medium skin tone one, but I'm sure it doesn't really make a difference which one you use because it does go underneath makeup. Or at least that's what I use it for. But I do have a review of this, so I'll link it down below. And then I also have been loving, this one's more of a mattifying primer. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I wouldn't say it does much in terms of my pores, that's why I do need to go in with the L'Oreal, but this one does keep me quite matte and it makes my skin, like when I put it on and I let it dry, because it's a primer and I like to let it dry, once I put foundation on the top, it's like it's locked in and loaded to go. Like when I use this with foundation, my foundation stays on all day. It's crazy. For foundation, I've been liking three. So the one from the drugstore that I've been liking is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I really, really enjoy this. I have the shade 220. This is a really, really nice shade for when I'm fake tanned. When I've used up some more foundations in my collection, I'll definitely be picking up a lighter shade of this, just so I can mix and match for every day. This is a beautiful foundation. Another foundation that I've been loving, especially for photography, is the Face Atelier Pro Ultra Foundation. This stuff is amazing. It looks beautiful on the skin. It's not overly matte, but it's not super dewy either. I set every foundation with a powder though, but this is a lovely foundation. I have the shades 6 and 8, and they're very good fake tan colors. And the last foundation that I've been loving recently, or actually this one I've been loving for a long time, is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. I have mine in the shade 8 Honey, and oh my goodness, they are not joking when they say stay all day. This stuff is great. I wore this foundation on the hottest day this summer. Um, it was actually a, it was my boyfriend's cousin's wedding, and I wore this foundation. I put it on at I think 9 o'clock. And we didn't get home till one and my foundation still stayed on it wasn't looking like super cute like I was oily but it was still on my face which I was so happy about like it was so hot that day like I'm talking I could feel beads of sweat dripping down my back it was so hot Ooh, TMI I know but that's just an indication as to how hot it was that day and this foundation pulled through along with the Becca primer these two oh my goodness like your foundation is locked and loaded ready to go for concealers, the drugstore one that I've been loving is the Maybelline Master Conceal. I have the shades 20, 30, and I think 50. Love these so much. They're great, great products and such a good price point as well. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Warm. I love this for highlighting the face itself. So highlighting the forehead, the nose, stuff like that. I don't really use this for under eye concealer um, just because it's not enough coverage for me because I've got really, really bad dark under eye circles. But I do like this as an eye primer. And then for my under eyes, oh my goodness, I've been loving the Tarte Shape Tape. I only recently got this, but my goodness, it has blown almost every concealer I have out of the water. The only thing that I have comparable to this in terms of coverage is my Kevin Aucoin Central Skin Enhancer, which I think has a tiny bit more coverage, but it is definitely a lot more thick. So yeah, great concealer. For cream contour, I have been loving the Becca Low Light sculpting perfector this stuff is great it's a beautiful tone i'll swatch it for you 
it's a beautiful tone for contouring and I just love it so much. I used to not like this because it used to break down my foundation. If you pat it on like this, it does. But if you paint it on with a foundation brush and then blend it out, I find it doesn't break down my foundation. So I've been using that a lot recently and it has been great. And then for cream bronzer, I've still been loving my Chanel Soleil Tender Chanel. Nothing can compare to this. Oh my goodness. Here is it swatched on my hand compared to that contour. Sometimes I use the contour alone and sometimes I use the bronzer on its own but sometimes especially if I want to go somewhere important or like fancy I'll use them both I love them so much for powder I've been loving the MAC Studio Fix press powder I love the shades NC30 and NC35 just depending on how fake tanned I am and then for loose powder I've been loving the Illamasqua one this one is just their standard loose powder I would not recommend you bake with this but this is nice if you just want to set your face all over um, this is not good in flash photography, but for every day it does make your foundation last. It is a white powder. I do believe it gives flashback. I took, I think, one photo with it and it did give me flashback. But as an everyday powder to set my foundation, it's really, really nice. And it keeps me quite matte. So for bronzer, oh my goodness, I just can't seem to put this stuff down. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. You can see that I've used it quite a lot. Oh my goodness, like I've hit major pan and I just can't put this down. I own like 50 bronzers, but I just keep reaching for this one. And regardless of if I'm fake tent or not, I always use the milk chocolate one. For contour, I love the Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Light. This is new to my collection, but oh my goodness, I love it so much. I love how small and compact you do get a good size mirror in it and you do get a highlighter in it as well. I like keeping this in my handbag and at home. It's a really, really good product. It's not too expensive at all. And I do like how the contour shade isn't too gray. It's still a bronze shade, which is good for my fake tanning. And I really, really like it. I cannot put this down either. <laughs> the highlight's nice as well. I actually have a blush for you guys. This is it here. It's by NYX and it's called Nuditude. It's really, really pretty. It only gives like a light sheen of color, but that's what I like in a blush. I don't like anything too pink or too dark or too bright. I just like very muted blushes. And this Nude Tude blush does it for me. It's really, really nice. I like the packaging. Like you're not having heaps of excess space. Like it's literally just the pan and then like a little bit around it. It's just a really, really nice blush. Really affordable, nice color. It is more of like a matte blush. Well, it's not like it is a matte blush, but it's really, really nice. I like this one a lot. For highlighter, can I go past Champagne Pop? This is amazing. Like you can see the rings. I'm going to be hitting pans soon, I imagine. It's just amazing. It's what I have on my cheeks at the moment. I love it so much. Also, don't diss my eyeshadow. This was the first time I did a cut crease ever, and I don't know if I did it right or not. If you guys are familiar with cut creases, can you tell me if I did it good? I think I did it okay. <laughs> please tell me. Constructive criticism, criticism, please. So for eyeshadow palettes, oh my goodness, I've been obsessed with the Laura Lee palette from Violet Voss. I have tickled pink on my eyelids today as this color here. And then I have a few of the other matte shades. I've got Whiskers, Britches, Fried, and Mama Bird just in the crease here. Love it so much. So beautiful. Like, just an amazingly beautiful palette. If you like these colors, I think you'll really like this palette. The mattes are beautiful and so are the shimmers. And then I've been loving Makeup Geek. This is my Z palette. Don't support Z palette because of all that drama, but I'm going to use it because I have it. Um, these are some Makeup Geek eyeshadows with some MAC eyeshadows. In particular, the Makeup Geek shadows that I've been loving are Barcelona Beach, which is this one right here. I'll swatch it for you. Latte, which is this one here. Frappe, which is... I'm not flipping you off, I promise. Frappe, which is this one here. I'm terrible at swatching, can you tell? Mocha, which is this one. I love that one for my eyebrows as well. And then this one here, which is called Desert Sands. I never actually expected to like Desert Sand as much as what I did, but it's a beautiful color. So that's those there. I've been loving these tones recently. They give me life. So much life. For mascara, I never thought that I'd be one to love high-end mascaras, but I really, really enjoy the Tarte Light Camera Lashes. This stuff is great. Now for lipsticks. 
I'll go with the traditional lipsticks first and then I'll move on to liquid lipsticks. So the two that I like for every day from work are from Antipodes. These ones were gifted to me. Um, I'm not in any way, shape or form like affiliated with Antipodes. I just got given their stuff for free. One lipstick that I that's lived in my makeup bag, you can tell because this one's a lot newer than the other one. It's like all manky is this one. It's called Boom Rock Bronze from Antipodes. That's it there. I love this every day for work. It's such like a sophisticated color. It doesn't matter what the season is. It's just an amazing all year round color. I love it so much. And then the other one, this one's a bit more playful. This one is called South Pacific Coral. And this one is gorgeous as well. And that's it there. I love them so much. They're so nourishing, so moisturizing. They're just beautiful on the lips. Great. And then for like my more going out lipstick, I've been loving MAC Velvet Teddy recently. That's it there. It's more of a nude, but it's still gorgeous. And then in terms of liquid lipsticks, I've been loving these two together. So I apply Kat Von D Bow and Arrow first all over the lips. And then in the center, I use Stila Caramello. Oh my goodness, such an amazing combo. You can see what they look like in the tube there. They don't look much different on the lips. I'll show you guys in a future video what this combo looks like because I have a eye look idea in mind and I think that would be an amazing lip combo. Okay guys, so those were my favorite makeup products as of recently. They have been in my current rotation and I've been using them so much. So if you guys would like to see any videos using these products or if you want to see me review anything, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys are having a very wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!